Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Talk. It's a chance for us to share with you the things uh, that you need to know most urgently for life at Lakeview. And so, uh, first off, Jeff, um, you're getting a real authentic Okanagan or Smokinagan, as we sometimes <laughs> call it, summer this week. Yes. Uh, how are you guys doing with that? Oh, uh, yesterday I almost cut my dog walking short because <laughs> my throat was hurting, but. Uh, yeah, you know, you stay inside and it, yeah. it's okay, but uh, definitely smell it and feel it. Right. I was out reading on the front porch last night and I happened to look over at the moon and it was red. Yes. Did you I, see that? I did see that. And the sun going down was just, I mean, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, so I understand the fires, they're devastating. I wish we didn't have them, but the faintest of silver linings, if you can even call it that, because it's a, a horrible thing, is just the way the moon and the sun sometimes mm. gets filtered through. But uh, yeah. so I'm glad you guys are coping and yes. you're getting through it. Yeah. And uh, the only thing that would cap this whole thing off even more would be all of a sudden a helicopter at Alpine was to land. Or, but they've been coming and going all day. They're oh. working hard. Hey, yes. um, church, we encourage you, be praying for those that are out fighting the fires. They're, it's dangerous work, it's hard work, and, uh, um, but it is so like I'm so grateful for all that they're doing and I I know you are too so be lifting them up uh, as you pray this week um, the things you need to know first off um, we are counting down the days in just 12 days Kevin is back from his sabbatical and um, we jokingly but very truthfully because you know the the truth is very funny sometimes uh, we have we have we, we're excited for him to return and we have a few things that uh, we're excited to uh, get his input on and uh, um, and good things right uh, we'll get to those in a moment but as he comes back and gets ready we encourage you to pray for him too and his family mm -hmm. as they kind of wind down the sabbatical part begin and prepare to re-engage ministry life um, it, 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 it's a time for us just to be continuing to lift them up in prayer as they get ready to join us. And uh, like August 2nd is a, a Monday and August 3rd, he's back in the office. And so mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll see them very soon. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's exciting. What Chris wasn't saying is that we have a lot of work to give him, but uh, <laughs> we're trying to, we, we, uh, we really appreciate him and we're excited to yeah. have him back. Uh, so we are in our lobby here, and mm -hmm. uh, sorry if you wanted to guess, uh, I told you, but um, they should know. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're look, talking about sharing life together, and you know, at Lakeview, um, we're just so excited to be back in the building, to yep. being able to be together. We're looking towards the fall, and we have some teams that we want to start uh, putting together again. Uh, two of those are greeters and ushers. Mm -hmm. Greeters are people that we just, they're, they're, they're ready to say hello to people that come in the door and um, show them what they need to know if they have children, if they don't know where to go, where the bathrooms are. It's just it's just someone that greets people and welcomes yeah. them and friendly. A and friendly face, right? It makes all the difference when you're yeah. kind of new at a church or you're just checking one out. Yeah. It's nice to have a, a really positive first point of contact. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and someone who's willing to walk with them. And mm -hmm. So uh, if you're interested in being on uh, a greeter team, then we would uh, ask you to let us know mm -hmm. um, if uh, you're not, but you know somebody, then you can let us uh, know. We can yeah. approach and, and but but be praying for 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 the, the, those people uh, that do that. And I know it's intimidating for some people because mm -hmm. they're like, oh, I don't know anyone. This is a great way yeah. to get to know people. That's a good so point. even if you're new at Lakeview, but you're like, Lakeview is my church. I'm in. Mm -hmm. That a great. Hey, what better way to get to know every single person that comes through the door than to be standing at the door, uh, you know, yeah. elbowing or whatever? What you know, yeah. everyone's in different comfort levels yeah. with a physical greeting, but you know, uh, just saying good morning, glad you're here, and uh, it's a great way to get to know people. And if you're new to like you, it's okay if you don't know people's names yet because mm -hmm. you've got time. You'll get to know them. Yeah. And uh, so uh, keep going. You're about to talk about ushers. Yeah. Right? And then the the other one is ushers, and those are people that actually actually know where the seats are available and say yep you can find a seat right up here uh, they so they help people find seats they yeah. they also collect money however we are doing that so um, it just so that we can ha get the, the offerings to to the right place and uh, and 
put it away and, and have it uh, locked up and everything uh, after the service is done. So mm -hmm. those are two teams that we're, we're uh, wanting to put together and, and we have some people already volunteering with that and if you would like to, to uh, help out with that, we'd really appreciate that. Yeah, that's so. awesome. I noticed when I was at the back of the sanctuary on Sunday, with everybody standing and saying it was really hard to see that there was open pockets of seats in the middle. Mm -hmm. And all I can think of is we need an usher uh, yeah. just to help anyone who would come in late find those pockets because mm -hmm. there was big, there was areas, there's seats. Yeah. It's just you don't see them from the back. It's hard to tell. It is yeah. really hard to tell. Yeah. And so uh, it's, it's great. We've got a few, but we could use more. And on that vein, we're also recruiting kids ministry leaders. And so uh, that's like nursery volunteers, uh, uh, both teachers and assistants in all of our classes and so if you even if you like did it in the past just a quick note to say hey I'm still in that would be really appreciated uh, if you're haven't done it in a while and you, you'd like to get back to it or you're newer to Lakeview and you're like yeah I love kids I, I used to serve at my other church come join us also youth leaders uh, we could use a couple more youth leaders and so if you're um, like youth and uh, or just want to feel young again uh, or, or you just want to have that experience every week of being totally confused and not sure what anyone is talking about, come be a youth leader. It's great fun. And uh, so there, and there's lots of ways for you to get involved and serve. Yeah, those are both near and dear to my heart too, the, the youth uh, um, leading. Uh, you know, sometimes you don't even know how much you'll love it until yeah. you try it. So if you're even a little bit interested, talk to Chris. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a wonderful place to to stay young and active and learn what they're talking about, like you said. <laughs> oh yeah, I just regularly yeah. say, ah, I'm sorry, yeah. what, what are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, uh, exactly. Or something to that effect. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, yeah. so educational. <laughs> yeah. uh, and the last thing we want you to be praying about, thinking about is something uh, near and dear to all our hearts as well as, as life groups. Um, life groups is where we really experience mm -hmm. real connection with each other and growth in the Lord. Yeah. Um, we, we, we grow together and mm -hmm. so, uh, we really want all of you to be in, in a life group and part of a life group. So if you're interested in, in being a part of one and you're not, or interested in uh, leading one, uh, any of those things, we'd really like to hear. Uh, and we'd, we'd really like you to be praying for uh, us as we figure out how to um, kick those off in the fall as well. Yeah. We have a new... A, a new um, opportunity here to 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 start uh, life groups uh, and we're just praying about how to do that yeah I know for a lot of people that what they learned through the pandemic was how isolated uh, we so easily can become and maybe already were mm -hmm. and uh, life groups really help battle that mm -hmm. um, as much as as much as I missed coming Sunday mornings to the service where there was a room full of people, I think missing the life group was even more so. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. and that's just an encouragement. You, I know some people who weren't really part of life groups before, they, they were saying, boy, I really need to get into one. So now uh, we're just putting that in front of you, be thinking about it. Mm -hmm. um, we, we don't have a list of life group leaders yet. Maybe you're about to sign up and be a life group leader um, because we also, uh, recognize that Kevin might come back from sabbatical with great grand visions from God for how life groups could be different because that's part of his um, portfolio if you will mm -hmm. and so uh, but we're, we're we're looking forward to September when when mm -hmm. new things begin yes. and uh, and it's gonna be a great great time yeah so I think that's it for today right yeah 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 so thanks for spending some time with us today and uh, we'll we look forward to connecting further uh, in the real near future <laughs>